Hey, hey, gorgeous peeps, it is Susie Ashworth here, Mindset and Messaging Mentor. And I've got a fun live for you today. I've got my door open, actually. I feel like I need to um, um, just, hey, Yvonne. Aluna is upstairs. She's awake, but she's just kind of hanging out in her bed. And so I've left the door open in case she decides that she wants to get up. So if I need to leave you, that is why. Hey, Yvonne. Hey, Samaria. Hey, Susan. Hey, Claire. So, yeah, there is. I mentioned her a couple of lives ago. Hi, Laura. A lovely lady called Lucy in the Reboot group who needs to manifest some money fast. Susan's saying, hey, hey, I hope you're looking after yourself. I am. Do you know what I was going to show you? Got a little glass of Vino. I'm working hard, but I've got a little glass of Vino, so I'm all right. It's five o'clock somewhere, as they say. Jerome just gone to get the other kids, so <laughs> I'm doing good, doing all right. <laughs> this is like put the wow faces on. <laughs> it is a little bit early. I've been kind of sucking on that slowly, so please don't judge. <laughs> Anyway, I thought it really inspired me. She needs to make 8K, she needs to make it fast. And I was like, well, the first thing I want you to do is create a list of 20 ways that you can make this money. Now, obviously, if you want to make 1K, 5K, however much it is, um, you uh, just, it doesn't matter. But picking out 20 ways is a really powerful thing to do and as I say I've done it 50 ways and I haven't done this for a little while so it was interesting when I got to about 16 I was like hmm how do I do this Jay's just saying I've been following this and found it really inspiring thanks for sharing uh Susan do not worry about me darling I'm all right I'm all right <laughs> Helen's just saying it's never too early no you are right my lovely it is never too early especially on a Friday so yeah, the reason that I pick 20 is because it just gets the creative juices going and flowing. And whilst there are some crappy ideas and while some ideas look really similar to the other 20, um, picking a different theme and um, a different theme for the workshop, and I'll go through them all with you, is really powerful because by the, although I was struggling once I got to 16, there were a couple of ideas that came later that I thought, actually, that would be quite a nice little program. Whether it's a freebie or whether I charge for it, I don't know. But I, th I definitely thought that would be a nice little program. So that's why you go for 20. The other thing that you have to do, like I said in the last one, you actually have to choose something to implement on. And what was interesting with some of Lucy's answers, which were about kind of like writing newsletter and um, networking with people, those things are really powerful. But with those things, you have to be clear on what the money making element is. So if you are networking with people, i.e. you um, go to speak at somebody else's event, you need to be able to ask for the sale and you need to be intentional about that. You can't just having, I'm gonna to speak to loads of people without having the intention behind actually specifically asking for what it is that you want and need is not a money-making idea on its own. It's the whole kind of faith plus action. So the meditating part and um, the visualizing part is really, really powerful and necessary. But if you don't back that up, by asking people for the sale, then it's it's only half of the equation. So that is that. Is that all making sense for you, my darlings? Hit me up with the thumbs, with the thumbs, with the thumbs. I've been practicing as well. I've got like a little Mohique clip on, which I don't quite like it. I'm gonna have, have me play around with the hair. Anyway, right, so how would I do this? Number one. I could sell 82, um, um, or 82 sales of the Calm Birth School course for the subscribers. So the people who sign up to the subscriber list get it at a slightly lower price. So that's 97 sales. I could do that. Um, um, I could also sell 
53 sales of the Calm Birth School course at a price of 149, which is how much it is on the website. So I incentivize people for joining my list because then I can speak to them every week and they are much more likely to um, convert into leads and they get a um, incentive to incentive to do that. So what you're going to notice here is that I have why this is slightly easy for me, and it's something that you will want to think about if you are looking to build a bigger business, is having more than one source of revenue. So when it comes to creating 20 ideas, because I have various different products that I want to sell, I can play around with that as well as creating new ideas. When you only have one form of revenue, so if the only thing that you do is hypnobirthing classes, or the only thing that you do is doulering, it makes it slightly more challenging when it comes to creating lots of different ideas because everything has to be new. Um, I'm doing the pricing workshop on, I think it's Wednesday next week, and I talk about this and how many different streams of revenues millionaires have. And it's quite interesting to think about. So number one, 82 sales of the Calm Birth School course at £97. Number two, 53 sales at 149 22 sales of the baby business school at the reduced price of £349, which was like, mm, yeah, kind of put out a nice quick flush sale. Um, 10 sales of the Limitless Life experience at the reduced price of 797 which was the early bird price. I could have one private client who paid in full. That would leave me with some cash over, which would be nice, but certainly that would get me my £8,000. Or I could have eight VIP clients at the, of the Limitless Life experience. So they are the things that I have on my website, um, or not on my website, but things that are already in existence. Oh, that's the door, but Jerome is just coming, so we're all good. Um, um, I could sell a new group mindset program over a period of four weeks and have 15 people in at £533. So that is the first new thing that I thought about that I could do um, that would be easy enough. Oh, I've got his keys. I am going to have to go. Sorry. <laughs> people so I'm sorry my lovely um, I'm gonna have to come back because I've got a little boy he's come back and he is who's doing the flowers I want to do that um, um, I've got a boy and he's come back and he's upset so he needs his mama so I'm gonna come back later on and I will finish this off we got to number four all right Mwah. love you bye